The Hall of Hearts by Haunted Spirit Rising Moon Princess Cadence smiled at her husband. Come on, Shining. What I'm about going to show you is amazing. Shining chuckled and raised an eyebrow. Oh, and what is this you want to show me? Shining was sitting in the throne room and Cadence stood in the hallway, beckoning him over. I can't tell you. It's a surprise. The prince rolled his eyes, but he followed her. You sound like Pinkie Pie. She smiled. Well, Pinkie Pie helped me create it. The prince smiled nervously. Pinkie wasn't known for safety. Well, as long as it's safe... It was probably just him, but he could have sworn there was a strange light in his wife's eyes. Don't worry, Shiny. It's perfectly safe. He followed her along the corridors, wondering just what her surprise could be. He was confused. He was confused when she led him to a crystal pillar. She spoke in enchantment. My and a rect rectangle sunk into the into the pillar and lifted up. Shining was more than apprehensive, but he trusted her. He knew she would keep him safe and him her. So he followed her into the columns. It led down a set of creaky wooden stairs. The ceiling was made of stone. Was stone. The steel. The ceiling was made the ceiling was stone and this hallway was small and cramped. He could hear the sound of something leaking. There was a pungent odor in the air, making shining crinkle his nose. The wooden stairs were coated with a sticky substance that he couldn't see in the dark. Caden's glo horn glowed was the only light. I think a faint pink light in the darkness. Soon they arrived at a door. Shining could tell it was a door because the light from Cadence's horn reflected off of it, off the doorknob. Shining was trying not to panic, assuring himself Cadence wouldn't do anything to harm him or any pony. She then opened the door. They walked in, and Shining looked around. It was too dark to tell what was around them. He heard the door close behind him, and Cadence locked it. That was unsettling. She walked over to the wall and flipped a switch. Fluorescent lights flickered on in the ceiling, revealing what hid in the darkness. Shining Armor was horrified and disgusted. Lining the walls were shelves, stained with sickening bread. Chains stuck up from where the shelves, holding a vital organ, its cold metal embrace, hearts, and plaques read different names under them, shining through up, and when he looked up from his pool of disgust, he saw Caden smiling sweetly at him. What? What is this? He spoke in a raspy voice. She still smiled sweetly, her voice forever kind and caring. This is the Hall of Hearts. Celestia told me to make sure that lives are kept in the balance, and gave me them so I could keep watching them. When a pony has to die, or if they have a heart attack, or if they're heartbroken, or in love, her eyes shone with a glint from earlier. And her husband was disgusted. Isn't it just... Isn't it just marvelous? Having complete control over somebody's life? Shining backed up. It's... Disgusting! And wrong! You're killing ponies whenever you feel like it? She chuckled. It was sickening to Shining's ears. Oh, Shining... It's not disgusting, not wrong. Celestia told me to do this, and I love doing it. She pointed to a corner where a pile of crystallized hearts lay, cracked and dusty. 
It's how I got my cuter mark, after all. Shining backed up against the door. You, you, you can't just do this. She chuckled. <laughs> Again. Walking towards one of the shelves. Oh, I can, Shining. I get to choose what happens to some pony's life. She looked at one heart with the plaque beneath it. That read, Granny Smith. She had lived her life. I do believe she has to say, Bye bye. Her sparkling pink magic touched the heart, and Shining watched in horror as it slowly turned to crystal, and it levitated over to the discarded pile. Shining could tell that the sickening substance was blood now gained some of his sanity after the initial shock. He would see a few empty shelves and was confused, but he had more worry, important worries to worry about. Cadence was walking towards another heart, but stopped as Shining spoke. I'll, I'll tell someone, buddy. I'll gather the elements of harmony to defeat you. She turned back to him and slowly shook her head. Oh, Shining, I was sure you would love and appreciate this. But sadly, you do not. And besides, you can't tell some pony if they're already dead. Shining was more scared than he'd ever been. W what? She finished her walk towards the other shelf, and Shining's eyes widened in fear as he saw the plaque. Shining armor. Sh Shining realized what she was going to do. No, 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 please! Cadence chuckled. It's already too late, Shining. Her, oin her horn lights up. Shining's yelled, No, no, please, I'm sorry, I'll... Silence. Cadence picked up the crystal heart in her magic. Wonder what story I'll make up. Should I go with heart attack or a pony attacking him? She dropped the crystal heart into the pile and went to unlock the do door, passing Shining's body. She grinned and stopped, standing over him, her horn fl flickering, revealing a black stallion underneath with a blood-red horn. Oh, Shining, what a wonderful husband you were. King Sombra grinned. He flickered back into his Princess Cadence form and left the room, loving the thought that Shining's body would rot into the underground chamber. Well, guys, this was an enjoyable reading for me. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed the story enough, uh, like, subscribe, maybe share the video. I'm always here if you got any requests, and I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, just keep listening, and have an excellent day.